Hey guys, Stephanie with Simply Fun here to tell you about all the games on sale for April. In Ocean Limbo, we are adding animals into the ocean here and we're trying to get them as close to the bottom of the floor here as possible. Now, at the end of each round, you're going to check and see what the number is on the score, score lines here and you're gonna write that number down. At the end of three rounds, whoever has the lowest score wins the game. Save the Pie is a cooperative game where we are trying to surprise our friend Barry with a pie. So we have to get all of our berries from the berry patch up to the pie maker before he catches up to us. To do this, we are going to use this dice here to tell us how we're going to get our tokens um, onto this little activity board. And for every character that you are able to get a token on, that character gets to move forward along the path. If you manage to get a berry off of the board, you then have to do an activity card, which is going to slow down your progress even further. If you can get all the characters up to the pie maker without berry catching up to you, you win the game. In Crystal Cup Rally, we are racing around an alien racetrack to win this adorable little trophy. As you play, you are able to collect these little gems for, to earn you uh, power-ups. You can also take special shortcuts and you can move uh, obstacles into your opponent's way. The first person to make it around the track two times wins the game. In Sunshine Rescue, we are trying to recover these droplets of sunshine from the stormy side and bring them back over to the sunny area. Now to do this, you're going to use the die which tells you how many spaces you get to move or whether you hit, have to spin the little spinner here. Now, when you spin the little spinner, depending on where he lands, if it's anywhere on the rainbow, anybody that's on the rainbow then has to flip over into an umbrella. If it lands on a space where you are carrying sunshine, you lose your sunshine. It just stays right there until somebody else picks it up. On your turn, if you didn't want to move one of the character, one of your characters, you could move the sunshine instead if you wanted to. The sunshine does help you recover that, sun, that droplet of sunshine. Now, whoever gets three droplets of sunshine into the sunny corner first wins the game. In Space It, we are working with number sequences. To start out the game, everybody takes a look at the tiles that they have and they uh, set out a number sequence. A number sequence is something that has the same value between each number, like two, four, six, eight, all have a value of two between them. Now, on subsequent turns, you then can either add a number to the front or the back of a current sequence, or you'd be able to add some to the middle just so long as you are making sure that you then have a correct sequence. These little guys, these are wild. So I am saying, declaring that it is 17, 18, 19, this is gonna be 20, 21. Or you can start a whole new sequence. Now if at any point you have tiles left, but you don't have a valid move, you then have to draw a tile from the space it bag. The first person to run out of tiles then wins the game. In Stargazer, we are trying to create these little patterns or constellations on the game board. There are three different types of gazer cards, each of them being worth a different point value. The um, higher the point value, obviously the harder the card is going to be, okay? So on your turn, you get to play up to five of your star cards. Each star card is a little bit different. There are four different kinds. We've got where you can add one of your stars, take off one of your stars, add or remove an opponent star, or swap. The swap card means that you are able to swap two stars already on the game board, swap one of yours for an opponent, or move one of your stars to an open space. Now, if you are able to create one of these patterns during your turn, you are then able to keep this, star, uh, this gazer card off to the side, and then you draw back up so that you have five star cards in your hand. Um, if during your turn you do want to discard one of the five that you originally had, you are allowed to do that. Just on your next turn, you make sure that you draw five more cards, and then if you need to, another gazer card. The game ends when the star pile runs out, and then you count up to see who has the most points. Whoever does, wins the game. We also have a brand new game out called Planet Voyagers, which is all about outer space. When you purchase that one this month, you also get a free little rocket pen. You get a pen on one side and a flashlight on the other. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Simply Fun with Steph.